Hello, everybody. Uh, we're back here on the Moose Grind. Kicking it off on uh, Rev on to the Coast for our second stream, hunting them here on Rev. Thank you all for being here, as always. I hope everybody, uh, what the? What the? I, I, um, well, this is something interesting to start out on, I guess. Oh, my. What are you guys aggressive on? Well, how's everybody doing? <laughs> oh, man. What a start to the day. They're just aggressively running at me. That's interesting. No, I don't think it's a lynx. They're going straight to me. They want me. It's probably because I, I shot a moose here and then went to the main menu after I claimed it so I could start this stream up. And it's just kind of been sitting here, so I'm guessing they just got mad that I was at this tent. My gosh. Alright, well, let's chill them out a little bit and get the grind going. <laughs> hey, Will, Faded, Alan, Cowboy, Sambo, uh, Bryce, Pioneer14, Cole, Blake, Brandy, Unlimited, Big Buck Hunter. Um, I, 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 I gosh, I, oh gosh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Um, I'm just, I'm just gonna call you Ron One, and then we got, uh, Wyatt here as well, we got Chicken, AJ, Noah, Micah, Pancake, we got Bro here, we got Jake, Aiden, how's everybody doing? How is everybody doing? Alright, there's some, oh, uh, you know what, let's just, let's just do it, let's pop a whitetail. I've been shooting any whitetail I see as well. Never know when you could passively get yourself a, uh, great one whitetail while going for a great one moose, so. Got to get a few shots into them. At the spot where I killed my great one? Nice, Aiden. That's awesome, dude. Hopefully you'll get yourself something amazing from there as well. Hey, Bryce, it's been good. It's been good. Hey, Kaluk. Hey, Deep Blue. I'm doing good, uh, Big Buck. Doing pretty good. Just uh, edited that video that was posted today, and then uh, finished uploading it. Watched a little bit of YouTube, not a lot, and then uh, got ready to go. And now we're going. We're doing our best to get that moose today. We're gonna see if we can work towards getting that great one moose. So far, it's been really interesting on Rev. Like, uh, I'm still kind of getting a hang of where all the moose are. It's definitely a lot different than it is on Medved. That's for sure. Medved is definitely quite different from this. Don't see any moose here yet. We'll probably come back here later. See if uh, anything shows up at any point. Honestly, I think what we might do is kind of what we were doing the last time that we were here. We're going to kind of run through this middle area and try to kill off some of these herds and get them to move up north. 1,500 into Whitetail. Jeez, you're getting there, AJ. Hopefully, you'll get yours soon. Hey, Dupe LX, how's it going? What map do I hunt in? We're right now on Revlon Tule Coast. But we have hunted a variety of maps for uh for great ones. Alright, let's go this way. Got a five-star pheasant, but the hunt rating is a one-star in way of the hunters. That's still good. Oh yeah, the hunt rating really isn't that important in my opinion. It's it's all about the uh, the five star rating, you know. It's the actual star rating of the animal, not necessarily the hunt rating that matters. Hunt rating's just like how ethical the kill was. Kind of like their version of making sure that you're using the right gun, not shooting it too many times, similar to what uh, Call of the Wild does. But you don't lose a, a medal score in uh, Way of the Hunter like you do in Call of the Wild. Oh yeah, that that is how flags work. Look at that flag just flapping in the wind. Amazing, beautiful. Hey Hams, how's it going? We are hunting those Mesesis. We are indeed. The Mesesis will stand no chance. I'm 
Hope we get the great one, Moose. You work a lot of time. Thank you, dude. Hopefully we do. What gun do you need for Red Deer and anything else that's under Class 3? Um, so for Red Deer, you need pretty much any rifle that can cover their class, which is Class 6, I believe. So you could use any of the rifles that say 4 to 8. You could even use the uh, drilling rifle if you'd like, because that one is 5 to 9. And for things under Class 3, um, 243 is good for Class 2 animals. And then any shotgun with birdshot or the 22 is good for Class 1 animals. Gotta get an angle. That was a hit. Three hits into that guy, he'll go down. Man. Nice, Will. Yeah, it's a fun gun, man. I like that thing. It honestly, yeah, it probably is really good for Red Deer, now that I think of it. Where'd this guy come from? Oh, two hits and he's going down. Hey, Frosty, how's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. No, Ryan, that, that's not how great ones work. You don't have to kill a specific number of moose to get a great one on like a specific map. It's random. So if you kill a male, when that male respawns, it has a chance of respawning as a great one. Doesn't matter how many kills you've got, um, it'll have a chance. And so it doesn't matter if you switch maps. You could just switch maps and continue shooting moose and still have a chance of getting a great one. The big benefit to staying on one map is that you get a really... Uh, you can get an efficient run going because you can get a, you get a good idea of where all your moose are. And so it makes it quicker to like bounce between zones because you know exactly where to look the longer you uh, hunt on a map. But uh, yeah, it's not going to hurt your chances of a great one if you switch. Got a five star white tail yesterday. Nice, Noah. That's awesome. At some point, I'll need to jump back on the way of the hunter and try to uh, get some five stars off of the new map. Thank you, the hunter. Really appreciate it. Got geese all over. Where do these moose die? I mean, this is where we got the kill shot on that second one, which means the other one should be close to here. Hey, big hunter and fisher. Nothing good today. We pretty much just started. You made it just in time to see pretty much all the stream. Only been going for like 10 minutes. If we can find these moose, we'll grab them. If not, then we'll just keep uh, keep moving around. So I don't know if we'll be able to find... There it is. Okay. So we found the level four. I don't know where the three went. I don't even know if we got vitals. I don't know if he's going to be close or if he ran a long ways. Got a bear. Uh, Medven's respawns are broken for me, edits. If you've been following the uh, grind, you'll, you probably already know like what was going on with uh, our uh, respawns getting stuck, essentially. And that's pretty much what's happened, so... We moved to Revontuli to hopefully avoid that issue. You guys are lucky that there's no bull in that group. Otherwise, it'd be over. There's a bull. Look at that little feller.
There is no such thing as like a cooldown, uh, Halix. I, I've got a great one to 80 kills after the last one. One time when I was hunting Whitetail. You can get a great one at any time. You technically can get two great ones in one run if you really got lucky enough. In fact, there's been people that have done it before. That's a good zone there. I like that zone, actually. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. Honestly, I think I might ditch the idea of only hunting the north and instead just find the really good zones throughout the map that have lots of males. Because, like, I'm finding a lot of areas like this one right here where we've got two or three males in a small area. It really does seem like the center of the map is actually really good. Starting to think maybe it won't be the move to try and push them all to the north. We'll have to keep hunting and we'll take note of what zones end up being really, uh, consistent. As always, like I've, uh, told you guys before, that's what we like to do. We try to hunt as much as we can throughout the whole map and... Figure out what zones are going to be consistent with their respawns. And so far, like this big lake here, there's at least a couple zones that I really like. That'll be amazing if we can get it to uh, get some of these zones here to actually work out and stay consistent. Uh, yeah, Call of the Wild the Angler is still a thing. In fact, they just announced the console release for it. So it'll release to console in the summer. They didn't give an actual date, but it will release sometime in the summer for console. We have a guide for a great one moose for this map. Um, I'm not sure, Columbia. I don't really do too many... I don't really do too many guides. Because a lot of time... I mean, I guess I could do a generalized grinding guide for moose. But it's going to be about the same no matter what you're doing. Like, regardless of the map, the tips are going to be the same. Search all the water that they can be at. Hunt all your zones. As you're hunting your zones, pay attention to what is being consistent. And then uh, as time goes, goes on, focus mainly on those consistent zones. It's, it's going to be the same tips for pretty much everything. ABC, you didn't miss anything. We shot a few male moose already. Probably got like four or five of them down. I think we got five. Which honestly isn't too bad. I'll take 5 and 15 minutes considering we are just running around the map trying to find all of our good zones right now. Hey now, we got white-tailed deer there. And a random rabbit. Crazy. No diamonds yet, no. We pretty much just started, so we haven't had time to really get much. I think it's just on your end, uh, Drawn. It looks fine here. Maybe not, though. But yeah, it looks fine for me. I got it up on my phone and it's not lagging, so... Oh, hello there, little guy. We got a random lynx trying to get away from us. Uh, massive birds are good for sure, Carl. That way you have plenty of options and, like, if some of them stop respawning, then there's still plenty of others that are there. So I, I do like, uh, the bigger herds. Rest in pieces, little lynx. You will not be missed. I promise. Oh, gosh. That sounded like an angry moose. Got a feeling they're right over the hill. YouTube doing YouTube things? Yeah, seems about right. That's what YouTube does, man. They do YouTube stuff. Who would have thunk it? YouTube doing YouTube stuff, as always. Let's figure out where are these moose. Oh, there he is. So we deleted this zone last time and it returned to the same spot. Or at least something returned to this area. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to push them into the north like I wanted anyway. I think we're just going to have to uh, deal with the fact that we'll have to hunt a lot of the map to try and figure out what's going to be consistent. I was hoping we could just hunt the north, but... Definitely not going to work out for us. Ah, oh, man. Oh, he stopped. 
Normally I'd be happy about that, but that made me miss the shot there. Holy. That was crazy. The way he just stopped right there. Sometimes these moose are escape artists, I swear. They sure know how to dodge your shots. One thing I've noticed about Revon Thule already is the frame rate seems really low. Ooh. That's a weird three. And we got another there. Gosh, there's so many moose in this middle part of the map. I love this. Yeah, I think this this middle lake area like this is going to be one of my main grinding places. There's so many males here. Messed up that shot though. Rip. How far is that guy? Roughly 400. Oh my. Um we make this? I believe in us. I think we can make this. Okay. Yep, yep. Put your head down again. Yep. That was a delayed reaction. <laughs> Did we get the vitals? No, we didn't. Wow. All right. Well, I guess it's kind of my fault for taking a really long shot like that. Should have known it wasn't going to be a guaranteed kill. Man, that's such a weird looking level 3 rack. I don't see a lot of racks like this for some reason. Got an albino diamond lion. That's insane, Amber. That That's an awesome trophy. Congrats on that. Where's this other moose? Wait, where did we kill? Oh, there it is. Went further than I thought. We got a capper cali up there. Love those little Capricallis. I wouldn't mind finding a diamond one. If we can find a diamond Capricalli as we're hunting for moose, that'd be awesome. Where is he? There he is. He's going right towards us. <laughs> Never gets old, man. Never gets old. Love dropping him out of the sky like that. 385, nice little gold, though most of them are gold. They're very similar to turkey. Let's see, do we got anything over here? No, we don't. Okay. Last time there was some, I believe. How many super rares do I have? I think 11, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, me too, Pioneer. I think that would be better. It does kind of suck that the bears drink at 20. I feel like it would make more sense if they drank early morning. Like maybe, I don't know, five to eight. Or maybe like four to seven would be a good middle ground if they really want them to be partially in the dark. At least then, like by the time it's light, they should be coming into their zones. I think that would be fitting. You know, one thing that's really nice about Revon Thule that I, I didn't really take into account before is the fact that there's a lot of areas where you can cross via these boats. I was thinking to myself for a while that this grind was going to be rough because of how much water there is, but there is a lot of crossing points, which is nice. Would I rather have a super rare or a great one? I think in most cases, a super rare, but it really depends. Like, this moose grind, I'd much rather get a great one right now. Just because it's been such a long grind trying to get it. And we don't have... We don't have him showing up, so like I'd really love to get a great one moose. But like if I'm hunting whitetail, I think I'd rather see a super rare. Same for red deer. I guess it really depends on the species. Like with black bear and moose, I'd much rather see the great one show up. But uh, yeah, with whitetail and red deer, I think I'd like the super rare more. But uh, both the super rares and great ones for them are amazing, so... Doesn't really matter to me, whichever one uh, Call of the Wild wants to give me. Uh, yeah, Micah, they do. They have a leucistic, and then there's one other rare plumage type as well, but I can't remember the name of it. I believe it's only on the female ones. How many kills do I have? Uh, we spent 4,250 kills on Medved, and then we've got 
close to like 60 kills here on Rev, I think. Let me check real quick. Yeah, we've killed about 60 on Rev plus 4240 on uh, Medved. So it's been a little bit over 4300 kills since our last Great One Moose. Which is one of my longest grinds of all time. Hey, Eden, how's it going? Pale? Okay, yep. Yeah, I thought there was another one. So, Pale is the other plumage type, then. Got you. Mountain hare. No moose here. Little unfortunate. I think there was some like further down this lake last time, if I'm not mistaken, and we ended up deleting the zone. Yeah, JR, we're back on Rev. Gotta try and make that moose show up somehow. Medved just wasn't cutting it. Yesterday we lost even more males, so we kept we we continued doing Rev instead. Um, there's no such thing as progress, Amber. Uh, like I've said before, you there's no such thing as progress towards a great one. I could get a great one moose from any male moose that I kill. So you could you could literally, if you wanted to, grind like every map and just shoot moose. And have the same chances of one showing up on one map compared to the other map, because there's no such thing as like progress to a great one. You don't have to get a specific amount of kills on a specific map. It's just a matter of killing moose until one of them respawns as a great one. Low little brown bear. Don't hit me. I'm not, I'm not doing anything to you, so be chill. There's a moose. Capper Cali tracks as well. There's the Capper Cali. There's a female moose. Run. Run, little moosey. Hey, there's a little baby too. That's adorable. Oh, there's whitetail too. Any males? Nope, no males. Okay. All right, I guess it's just this level two male over here. Oh, how many kills do I have in total from level one to 60? Uh, to be honest, I don't know how many kills I have because the codex doesn't track kills properly all the time. There's been a lot of buggy updates that have prevented it from tracking properly. So I'm pretty sure it says I have like 62 or 65,000, but I have way more than that. Cause there's a lot that it didn't count. And then there's also some kills that I just didn't claim. Like, uh, let's, let's say a, a wounded red deer. Let's say I wound some red deer or some moose or some whitetail on the grind and they run really far away. I typically don't claim those because it's not worth the time it takes if you're grinding. So there's a few thousand at least that I didn't claim over the like 50,000 kills between red deer and whitetail. Oh, that also is something I, I mentioned in today's video that I, I can't remember if I mentioned the other day, but we surpassed 29,000 whitetail kills, which is pretty insane. Yeah, Case, you could. You could get a, uh, a great one moose from the first kill you get. You could get one to respawn the very next run. It is possible. I have seen a few people do it. I mean, I've had a, uh, a great one whitetail show up in 80 kills, which is really, really quick. And then I've also had a great one moose show up in 130, so it, it can vary quite a bit. You can definitely have some quick grinds like that that are almost instant. There's a moose. That's the one that we spooked, though. Pretty sure there was a zone over here. I don't know if we deleted it or if it's still here, but we had a zone over here. There's that bear we spooked. Some random little quack quacks.
Yeah, I don't think there's any zone over here. I think we did delete it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Cold Killer. I got one as well a while back. I had an initial spawn Whitetail and Layton when they first released Rancho Del Arroyo. To be honest though, I don't know if uh, initial spawns are even a thing anymore. I haven't seen like a provable initial spawn in probably like eight or nine months, maybe more. There's been a few people that have said that they got them, but every time I asked them, they said that they had already shot some. And the only reason they thought it was an initial spawn was because it was in a brand new zone. But moose move around like every time you kill them, so that's not really out of the ordinary to discover a brand new zone and see a great one there. So I don't think though any of those uh, moose that were supposed initial spawns, I don't think they actually were. I'm almost positive that they were just in a, uh, a brand new zone that got created from some of the moose that had been killed previously. All right, let's head over here. Going to be a little bit of a trek, but we got an hour left of their drink time, so. Are moose more consistent now? I mean, I haven't really hunted Rev enough to know. We'll have to see. My first great one was a cluster rack uh, whitetail, the hunter. It was a pretty cool great one. How many kills did it take me to get my first great one? Uh, 3,750. Uh, technically it would have been like 2,700, but I got what is, what used to be a bugged great one. There used to be a bug where if you spawned the great one and then left your map, like closed your game down, uh, the great one would turn into a diamond instead. And the only way that you knew that it was a great one before is because it would show up as a diamond, but it would be over the maximum weight. And so if you had one of those, you knew it was a bugged great one. And I got one of those at 2,700 kills on my first grind. And then uh, eventually they fixed that bug. And that's when I ended up getting my uh, my great one, my first great one whitetail at around 3,750 kills. Rev Moose grind isn't consistent. How many kills do you have on it, uh, Pip? Why did I stop doing herd management? I just didn't want to continue, I guess, like a contributing towards the arguing. Because there, there's a lot of people that are very against the use of it. And then there's a lot of people that are very for it and love it. And I, I just didn't want to be in the middle of the whole, like, battle going between both sides. Seeing, like, it, uh, anger people on both sides was just, like, I didn't want to be a part of it anymore. So we stopped doing it. Just under 3k, two great ones? That's not too bad, man. Two great ones in under 3k is not bad. I'd say that's pretty much uh, average for the moose. We're on kind of a terrible luck streak at the moment with 4,200 kills without a great one moose. That's just it's pretty bad. Definitely seems like your grind is uh, more in line with how it should be. Oh, no worries, Brantley, no worries. Yeah, Micah. So it wasn't necessarily that I was against it. I, I actually, I still think it's a really good way to grind if you have limited time. I just don't do it because content creator things, you know. Was grinding for the Great One Moose while your second one took you like two hours? That's, that's pretty quick, Brantley. That's pretty quick. And yeah, Micah, I've said before that like I, I will return to it if the developers say it's okay. Um, because the main reason that I stopped doing it was because of the, I guess the, the splitting of the community that it was causing. Where you're either against it or you're for it and then like those two sides kind of hate each other. So, yeah. If the developers come out and say that it's okay or that, uh... Like, part, some of the big arguments, right, is that some people feel it's an exploit. 
and others don't. And if, if the developers just come out and say it's not or that it is, then that'll alleviate a lot of the argument there. But I, I doubt EW will do that. They never really speak on that type of stuff. Not sure what it is, but I can't buy DLCs. I can't fix it on PS4. Um, I believe they disabled the DLC store, uh, Deep Blue, because of a, a bug that was happening. So you have to purchase it through the actual, like, Microsoft or PlayStation store instead of through the in-game DLC store. Yeah, he did, Vine, he did. Uh, it was before he was a, um, it was before he was part of the team, though. So... And I don't believe he does it anymore, so... One of those things where it's still not a confirmation that it's like, uh, is or isn't bad, right? And I really, I really just want them to come out and say it. Fairly new to the game, trying to get my first great one and still learning how to set up your grind. Uh, yeah, it can be tough to get set up, especially if you're pretty new to the game, but... The, the best tip that I can give for any grind, and this, this can apply to literally any grind you do. Look up a hotspot map. Uh, Pro XCK does a phenomenal job at making hotspot maps for animals, so you could look up, uh, let's say you're going to do Revon Tuli Moose. You can go to Pro XCK's channel. He should have a Revon Tuli Coast, uh, like all in one guide where it has hotspot maps for everything. Find the uh, moose segment of the video. And then it'll show you exactly where all the moose drink zones can be. And he'll also tell you like the time that they drink at. And then it's just a matter of going to all those locations. And what I like to do is I like to go to the beginning of their drink time, right? And then I'll start searching uh, one segment of water, right? And I'll just keep going around. And then what I'll do is I'll reset the time again once the time expires, right? Once you get the end of their drink time. And I'll go in an exact, like, um, I'll go back exactly the way that I came the first time and go through that area again because sometimes the first areas you go to, those moose might not be there because you had just switched the time. And a lot of times animals take a little bit to walk to their zones, so I like to go through an area twice from different angles. And at different times. That way, I make sure that I'm covering as much ground as I can. Making sure that I'm not missing any drink zones. And that guy's going to float. That's unfortunate. Hey, Jebba, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. Um, I don't believe so, Harley. I don't believe so. Oh, man. Feels bad, Trinster. Gotta love those trolls. Gotta love them. Yeah, no problem, Micah. That's how I like to do a lot of my, uh, need zone finding. And also, don't be afraid to, uh, shoot. Don't be afraid to shoot the male moose as you're finding them, or what, whether you're doing moose or whitetail or red deer. Don't be afraid to shoot them as you find the zones. Um, a lot of people believe that you have to find all your zones before you can start shooting them, but I have never done that before. I've always shot them as I've found them. Because it helps you figure out what zones are consistent. And also, like, as you're finding zones, if you're shooting stuff too, you could be working towards a great one while you're finding those zones. You could get a great one before you even find all your zones if you're shooting them as you go. Got your first diamond yesterday. Nice fish hook. That's awesome. Have some kind of bug with the wind. Has not changed direction for a week. Just reinstalled the game. Didn't help. Maybe you know something? That's strange, Chill. I don't know what would be doing that. That's not something I've ever had happen. That's definitely strange. What's my favorite great one? Uh, my favorite great one is the moose. Just because of how amazing the different fur variations and uh, racks look for them. Absolutely love the Great One Moose. Favorite to hunt is the Whitetail, though. I have a lot of fun shooting Whitetail, so... I definitely do more Whitetail grinding than I do Moose, just because of that reason. It is foggy! That's a male, though. Nice. 
Rock Tarmigans as well. How many can you kill before your zone deletes? Um, you don't want to kill more than three animals over a zone. If you kill three animals over a zone, you will want to wait for the uh, hunting pressure to dissipate a little bit. Because the second you kill a fourth over that zone, that will delete it, so... Just gotta make sure you don't get tier 4 hunting pressure. If you're using uh, stands, though, if you're using tripod stands or ground blinds or tree stands, then you can kill a lot more before it will delete. You can usually kill upwards of... I think, like, 15. And then the 16th will delete it if you're using a stand. But with a sand, like, you never really even get to that point, so you don't have to worry about it most of the time. How many kills do you approximately need to get a diamond lion in a grind, what do you think? Um, I'd say on average, every you'll get a diamond in 100 to 200 kills for lions. Sometimes quicker. I remember when I was doing the lion grind, I think we had... Like, four diamond lions within 150 kills, which is pretty nuts. That's definitely not the average. But we were getting really lucky. But you should get it within 100, 150 kills. What level was I when I had my first great one? I was level 60. Great ones were not uh, released before I hit level 60. Great ones right around the corner. I hope so, Carson. That would be quite nice. What new map would I like to see? Um, Texas Game Ranch Africa 2.0 or Australia. That's like my top three most wanted. With uh, British Columbia being like a close fourth. Lots of cool options, I feel. You didn't miss anything, Caleb. We're just uh, finding all of our zones on Revon Thule and smoking moose as we go. Just doing our best to get these things down. We pretty much checked all of this lake right here, like all of these around this area. Uh, we need to go reset the time, and then I think we're going to probably check the north. I want to check the northern zones now. Ah, you're right, Jebba. Correct. Correct. <laughs> that would be correct. Cousin's on level 20 and has five diamonds, maybe six. That's not bad. That is pretty good, actually. That is definitely not too shabby. Alright, let's get this back to... Eh, we'll do 1248. Why not? Screw it. Let's do it. There's the female over there. I think we shot a male there last time and it did not come back. What the white tail? What the white tail? I mean, if they're gonna be there, we might as well just smoke them. Like I said, we're gonna try and work towards a white tail as we're going for uh, this moose. If I can just pop a bunch of bucks, then beautiful. Nice, three bucks down. That is what we like to see. Yeah, me too, Sam, me too. Roosevelt Elk definitely need another map. I feel like they're a really cool species. I feel like they also need a great one. A new map for them and a great one would be great. What else would I like as a great one? I would love to see black-tailed deer, either elk species, mule deer, uh, Cape buffalo, lion. A lot of cool species that they could make into a great one. You haven't missed uh, too much, uh, Yeezus man. You haven't missed too much. Am I going to grind Black Bear again? One of these days we will, but I, I need an extensive break from them before I return. Because it's, uh, brutal hunting those Black Bear. Nice. This zone's been pretty consistent. I like this lake right here. Yeah, exactly, Fundy. I don't want to, I don't want a small game great one. I just feel like that would not be a fun time. That does not seem like a fun time. 
A great one, greater kudu. That could be cool. That could be cool. Hello, Moose. Um, where's my males, eh? Y'all don't look like a bunch of male moose. Well, that is quite uh, unfortunate. Maybe they're not being as consistent as I hoped. Or maybe there's a male at a different corner than where it was before. Maybe it's like right here. Not looking like it, though. Yeah, definitely not looking like it. This zone's been pretty good, so we'll see what's here. Yeah, definitely, Donovan. That would be such a good move on their part if they added a great one as well as Africa 2. Like, did it in one update. As kind of a celebration that it's finally in the game, you know, since we've all been wanting it for so long. What the... It's always so weird shooting them in this zone because they're on a slope. That white tail. There's white tail as well. Man, we could totally just do a dual grind because there is so many white tail that rest right next to the moose. That's crazy. That is awesome, to be honest. I like that a lot. Beautiful. All right, JR, no worries, dude. Uh, Maher 36, or is it is it Mare or Mar? Apologies, dude. I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but thank you for uh, the membership. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Enjoy all the perks that comes with that, the emotes, the extra Discord channels, the scrapped uploads on the channel. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you so much. Get these white tail first, and then we'll grab that moose as we go. There was a drink zone right there. I don't know if that's going to be a moose one or not. But we should keep our eye on it just in case. Very well could be some moose. Nothing popping in render right now, though. There's that, and that's our moose. Glad you enjoy the streams, dude. Hey, Dynamic. Oh, it's Maher, gotcha. Okay. I will do my best to remember that. Should be pretty easy to remember, I think. True, I could do that, Pip. I could do that. Do kind of like a little uh, duo grind. Whitetail and Moose. Hunting them both in their drink zones. I could see that being pretty fun. Look at these guys just walking along like it's nothing. I just foot, foot shot him so that he wouldn't move. Because <laughs> he was about to spook and I couldn't get on his chest in time. So I just toe shot him so I could get him in the like, uh, the, the hit animation. And I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> that was beautiful. What about a great one, Grey Wolf? That could work too. I have seen a lot of people saying they'd like to see a Grey Wolf get a great one. Lots of geese flying over today. Moving maps to hunt the whole day resets the herds anyways. Mixes up the scenery. Wait, I'm confused. Come on, let me... I, I gotta read that again. Um, Moose? Hello? Hold that thought. Okay, it's running. <laughs> I'm gonna say, where is this thing? But it's running away. 
Need to fix the bird hunting issue. Wait, what do you mean bird hunting issue? What what issue? You'll have to be more specific than that. YouTube doing YouTube stuff. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, that's rough dynamic. Yeah, that's rough. Gotta love it, man. If you shoot out all the males, will they stop spawning? Uh, no, Ramsey. Now, they might stop spawning in the herd if you shoot too many, but they won't stop spawning. They'll go to another spot if they can't come back to their spot that you shot them in. Like, for example, let's say there's like two bucks and one doe. If you shot two bucks and left just the one doe, they wouldn't come back to the same zone because no animals will come back to a zone if there's only one animal remaining there. My guess is maybe that's their simulation of like they can't repopulate if there's only one deer. But um, if you have like two bucks and two does and you shoot two bucks, they, they should always come back to the same zone that you shot them. And if they don't, then they've just gone somewhere else usually. I don't think you can actually empty your map of males. Although, with how weird my respawns have been on Medved for Moose, who knows? Nab to Piebald Red Deer today. Nice, Cassier, that's awesome. Rayson, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. That is very, uh, very generous of you. Thank you so much. Hope you're having an awesome day. Hey, Buckslayer, you haven't missed too much, dude. Just been blasting whatever we can. You know, this lake's got, like, nothing for me. I have noticed that, like, I don't have many zones in the north here. I think most of my moose are in the middle or south of the map. We see a lot in the middle. I haven't really hunted the south much, but I imagine there's probably some there. So they don't spook in the air? I mean, they're supposed to spook in the air. If, they, if, an, if a bird sees you from above, they're going to fly away. That, that's realistic. When did I get my last great one? Um, I killed it yesterday on stream. More whitetail. What is this, a whitetail grinding stream? That's all we're finding is whitetail. You had a lot of herds down south. So far it seems like most of mine are in the middle. Who knows, well, I might have some in the south as well. Hopefully I don't have too many. Welcome back, Johnny. Ah, uh, they are real in multiplayer, Parker. You gotta call them in still. If, you, if you're not able to spot them, that just means that they have not uh, been attracted to anything. The birds, uh, they work great for me. There's that white tail we smoked. Let's go grab him and give these guys some more time to come into their zones. What's my favorite map to hunt for the Great One, Moose or Whitetail? For Whitetail, it's Leighton. For Moose, um, I like Medved the most, but Medved was just being inconsistent for me. But I do really like Medved for Moose. Oh, there's a Moose. There's a male Moose. Oh, there's another male. What do you know? We actually did have some male Moose here. Beautiful. You love to see it. What would I like to be a new Great One, a Grizzly... Wolf or reindeer? Probably reindeer out of that bunch. Reindeer would be fun. And it would look insane too. Ah. Too low. Too low. Probably too high. Too high. <laughs> oh well. It is what it is. 
Hey, Connor, how's it going, man? Hope you're doing good. Oh, I got stuck briefly. I don't know how. Apparently, I didn't hit vitals on the first shot from over there. Feels bad, man. Uh, yeah, I've done some lion hunting. Not recently, but I did it for quite a while. There was a time where we were grinding them on stream for about a week. And uh, we got a good bit of diamonds doing it. Nice, Camden. Nice. I'm doing good, Connor. Just trying to figure out what the rev moose are like. Gotta figure them out. Gotta figure out what we're doing here. Wow, the other one we did not hit vitally either. I think he's gone. I don't think we're gonna be able to get him, unfortunately. Let's go to one of my favorite zones on all of the map. This area right here has been pretty awesome. We got a rare here last time we streamed. Oh no! What are you doing? And what are all these whitetail doing? Oh my gosh, there's just animals everywhere. Oh, this is a disaster. This is a disaster. Yeah, beat beat it up, Moosey. <laughs> Take that. Leave my moose and whitetail alone. All these moose so scared of a little lynx. That's just incredible. Oh, I hit low. That was on me. I hit way low there. One more for good measure. Well, we got two of them hit. That lynx ruined everything. That's silly little Lynx. Lynx versus Moose? Yeah, yeah, Lynx wins every time. I mean, technically that Moose could just stomp that Lynx and it'd be dead, but you know, it's called the wild. <laughs> what do we expect? Oh, there we go. Yeah, this lake's insane. I love this lake so much. This is by far my best Moose Lake. It's so consistent so far as well. Like, I've always got males here. Hopefully it'll stay like that. Beautiful. Yeah, Michelle, I was. I was at 27 great ones, and then I got one yesterday. Well, technically, I found it the day before, and then I killed it on stream yesterday. Uh, it's a floater. And then uh, I got one three days before that as well. Or four days before that, I guess. Both of them were great one white-tailed deer. Hey, Caitlin, how's it going? Hope you are doing great. Can you do a diamond with me so I can get more diamonds? Um, I don't really do that because it's kind of Lady Legends thing, right? Like, Lady Legend has the, uh, Guided Hunt series, and I don't want to do anything that could be considered similar. Because, uh, then you just get a bunch of people that'll accuse you of stealing an idea. Was that even vitals? I don't think it was. Oh, actually it was. He's going down. Don't have his attention yet. He moved! Why would you do that? <laughs> oh my gosh, he just moved. That's so rude. What is up with these moose today? They're just dodging bullets like it's nothing. Nothing on the other side, sadly. I mean, we got a zone there. Maybe I'm missing it.
Well, let's go get this other one. The moose are stubborn, I tell ya. They are now called moose. Yes, they're the moves. Vital organ. Okay, so it was vitals. That's good. What's my favorite map? My favorite map is Tiabaroa. Good old Tiabaroa. 204.10. Not bad, not bad. I've tried, Mason. Uh, he didn't respond to my email, so... Not sure if it'll ever happen. There's a male. Solo male. Okay. Oh, there's a male too. Beautiful. We got a couple males here. All right, later, Parker. He stopped as I shot. Oh my gosh, these moose. Moose are like the most insane at dodging I've ever seen. It's pretty crazy. I swear they could dodge anything. You, th you could throw a bus at them and they would dodge it. At least we got a couple down though. Uh, yeah, Luke, I do. I haven't recently, but I, I do hunt IRL. Hey, Flanky, how's it going? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Let's go find where this thing went. Not bad. I got a feeling there's some here. This was a really good lake when I hunted it in multiplayer, I feel. I think we need to move something there. I think we do. Do I have a tent free? I do. Okay, so we're going to put a tent by this lake. If it's good, at least. If it's good. It, it was in multiplayer when this map first released, so... We will see. Thank you, Flanky. Appreciate it, dude. Fourteen eleven. We got two hours left in the drink time. Let's go see what's up here. What sport do I like to watch in real life? I don't really watch sports, uh, Fishhook. I watched football when I was younger, but I haven't watched it since like 2014. Bobby, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. That's very, very kind of you. Very generous. Thank you so much. Yeah, the scarecrow. I believe in you. We all believe in you. I'm doing my best, Grayson. We'll we'll get it eventually. We will get it eventually. What's my favorite animal? Like uh, in the game? Favorite animal in the game to hunt, or I guess my favorite species in general is really the red deer. But uh, I actually like hunting the whitetail more. Just something about the whitetail hunting that's just tons of fun. Ah, oh, feels bad, Kasir. 
Well, you better go do it then, Jebba. What weapon am I currently using at the moment? I'm using the 300 Magnum. It is quite an awesome rifle. Let's see what we got up here. Oh my. Oh, that's a diamond! That's a guaranteed diamond. That's a guaranteed diamond. At a lake I had never gone to. Oh my gosh, look at all the males. Is this where all my males have been hiding? Is this where all my males in the north have been? Wow, I didn't know they could be clear back there too. That is like... Deep in the trees, man. That's a diamond, though. That's our first diamond off of Revon Tuli for the moose. Let's get this thing down. How many males are here? One, two, three, four. At least four males here. Oh, five. Oh. Oh. Maybe six? No, that's a female. Five males. Not bad, man. That's really good. Oh, it's so nice to see a guaranteed diamond moose. This lake is great for moose, whitetail, and lynx. Well, we better hunt this one a lot then. Oh, what a clutch shot. Let's get this tent over here. Yeah, that should be far enough away. Bears as well? Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to come here more. This like does seem insane. I think there's a couple lakes in the north that I'm not going to focus on because they just don't seem very good, but this is definitely one of the ones that we will be hunting. But, uh, for example, like, these two lakes, I think I've maybe had, like, two male moose here. That's it. They don't seem to get many males for me. Oh! Ah! A five! What? Dude! This lake is loaded! Oh my gosh! What the... I think that's a troll though. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Dude. Oh my gosh. This is where all our good moose have been. They've all been hiding here, man. They've all been hiding here. This herd was late. Dude, he's standing right next to him. Oh, this is going to be insane. Let's just drop him right here. Can I get them right next to each other? Come on, stop moving, buddy. We're in the stand now, so... He turned. He turned. Well, I don't know if you guys saw that, but he inched a little bit forward. He's going to go down, but I wanted him to drop right next to the other one. That isn't going to happen. Oh, well, we got him. Yeah, I killed a diamond, a uh, guaranteed diamond level four. And then um, a level five walks out of the trees. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was a there was a diamond a guaranteed diamond four and then a five just walks out of nowhere that was amazing yeah I'm sure I'm sure that probably did seem like I had found a great one hey I was just shocked that I turn around and there's a five walking out <laughs> like that that's just crazy Super awesome. I, I'm kind of sad I couldn't drop him next to the other, but he did a little bit of a slide as I shot and inched to the uh, to his right. But there's our guaranteed diamond level four. Look at the width on him. Oh my gosh. That's insane. That is crazy. 282 for that rack. Wow. That's a big boy. That's a big boy diamond. Look at that beauty. 
I'm curious if that other one's gonna make it. I think it's gonna troll, but it's got a chance. We might have two diamonds side by side. That would be pretty crazy. But that's awesome. That's our little diamond right there. Let's add to the diamond counter. We're almost at 2,200 diamonds in total. Let's go find... There it is. There's our other diamond. Diamond potential. Oh, we shot it yesterday, Tristan. Yeah, that doesn't look like a diamond to me. Please. I would love it if this guy made it too, but... It's two different antlers. It's two different antlers. I don't think it's going to make it. No, it was so close. Man. He's kind of wonky though. Look at that. Those mismatched antlers actually look kind of cool on him. Not bad. Yeah, it's, I, honestly, I'm going to tax that. That's a really wonky dude. That's pretty cool how wonky he is. Well, guys, that was a that was a clip and a half. Getting a diamond four and a level five side by side at this lake. I got to move another tent here so I can claim them quicker because this is actually a loaded lake. I'm thinking that we remove... I mean, we could remove this tent, to be honest. I can just walk this area. The five misses, but the four makes it eight plus. Yeah, it's kind of crazy how, how weird the scoring is for some of the true racks animals. Moose are one of the main ones. Ray said, thank you for another super chat. That's very generous of you. Really appreciate it. Thank you for uh, being here as always. Hope you're having an awesome day. Why did I grab that tent? I needed to actually pick a tent up. That little uh, level five and diamond kind of threw me for a loop. That was awesome. That was awesome. Uh, let's see what's at this lake. I could buy another tent, but uh, there's a max number of 16 per reserve. So I've already got 16 down. So yeah, I had to go pick one up. Three. Oh. Oh, there we go. That's a four. Okay, this lake actually is getting some males. It's just solos, though, it looks like. If it's just solos, I might, I might eventually just abandon this lake. Because I don't like hunting the solo zones. They're always so weird. Uh, maybe one of these days, uh, Ferris. Probably whenever this big update drops for it. I know currently the update for Prehistoric Hunt is in beta, I believe, but I don't want to swap over to the beta build, so I'll probably just wait till it full releases. But uh, for those of you that have seen it before on the channel, Prehistoric Hunt is a dinosaur hunting game. And uh, I think one of the big reasons why a lot of people don't watch it is because it's got very low graphics quality. Like, the gameplay is fun. It's got a lot of awesome stuff, but it is like, uh, the graphics are definitely not the best looking. They're getting a graphics overhaul. It's like uh, they're doing, a, a, I believe, an upgrade to a newer version of Unreal Engine. And so the game's lighting is going to be improved like crazy. So I'm hoping that eventually we'll get some changes to like uh, vegetation and stuff like that in the game. But it looks like it's going to be improving quite a bit visually. And I know that was a, uh, what's, it, what's it called? That was a pain point for a lot of people as they didn't like how bad the graphics graphics looked at times I'm uh, not sure Ferris they didn't really say when it comes I know it's being tested right now but uh, we don't know when the actual release date is hopefully soon because it looks amazing yeah a little bit Schrader the uh, the overhaul to the lighting and stuff is definitely gonna help the game a lot because it does kind of look a little bit rough at times. All right, let's go check this zone right here. That moose had not shown up.
Uh, yeah, Mason, once Ark gets the, uh, Unreal 5 upgrade, I'm going to be bringing Ark back to the channel as well during the live streams. Definitely lots of more, like, a dinosaur game-related content coming in the future. Primarily just waiting for the big updates to hit for those games. Once we get the big updates, there will definitely be more channel, or more channel. There'll definitely be more content on the channel for them. There we go. Nailed that guy. How many zones you have? I just started doing this grind like maybe a hundred kills ago, so we have not got all of our zones found. I haven't even counted how many zones we got yet. We still have over half the map to search, so yeah. Oh, no worries, Connor. No worries. Ew, dinos. Sure, Caitlin. Sure, says the Ark Addict. No mail. Feels bad. Could I use the new 7mm? Uh, 7mm is not really good for moose, to be honest. Not enough penetration. Two males. What? Okay, so maybe with the uh, Rev on Thule moose, I just need to wait longer. Reset the time all the way back and then just wait for them to show up. can definitely tell it's not going to be like Medved. Oh no, they're taking a swim. On Medved, you can just reset the time at the zone and they'll all show up. That doesn't seem to be the case here because I did that and did not have all of them show up at two or three of the lakes and come back through here and now there's more. Still no mail in that zone though. That's a bummer. That is a bummer, man. We're going to have to wait for that guy to float so we'll probably... Actually... I can just reset the time and he'll come back over here. If you guys didn't know, you can just, um... Oh, because I'm going for frontal heart shots, Mason. I'm not going for broadside shots. You can't reliably hit the heart broadside. I mean, you can, but not at these angles. See? There we go. Just reset the time and boom, he's on land again. Easy way to get past the floaters. There we go, 219. Uh, let's main menu. We haven't done that yet, so we definitely need to. Arc 2 is going to be amazing, JR. I'm excited for that. Too bad we don't have a release date yet. Seems like they're constantly pushing the release of that game back. Makes me wonder if we'll ever get it, man. Oh, Whitetail. Let's get them before they get away. Or there's no box there. Huh. Well, that's a problem. Ah, uh, maybe one of these days, Grayson. We've already done it before. There's a male. Did they really already respawn? That's crazy. That is crazy fast. That might be the quickest I've seen a moose respawn. Oh, yeah, Johnny, definitely. I'm excited for that game to eventually release. I hope it's good. I really hope Ultimate Hunting is insane. Oh, hey, hey, why are you still here? I just shot, I shot your buddy, and you're still here somehow. Why? Explain, little meese. If it releases... Oh, I think it will. Um... Don't you float again. Okay, stay there. Don't move. <laughs> I think it definitely will eventually, Johnny. It's just going to be a matter of when. Really hope it's soon, though, because I badly want to see what they've done with ultimate hunting. I mean, it's going to have elephants. What more could we ask for? <laughs> elephants and lots of customization for the rifles. Like, there's a lot of good stuff that's going to be with it. Holy. You know, we could totally just reset our time to 12 every time and we'll have the white tail at the lake before the moose come in. That's actually not a bad plan. 
What did you miss? You missed a diamond and a troll, Pancake Man. Just out of nowhere, a diamond and a troll at the same lake. Making me wish I had checked that lake sooner. Gosh, hello there, Whitetail. Where's that buck? There he is. Not gonna go claim him because he's pretty far away. But we got him down. Um, that's that's pretty average, uh, Burger. I believe Mule Deer get over 240 in Classic. At the, like, highest of the highs, I believe they are about 240. Nothing of this zone. I think what we're going to need to do is kind of just, like, go to each area to activate them. And then, uh, go through them a second time. Uh, yeah, Kevin, they do respawn. They will respawn if you don't uh, claim them. But it won't happen until you exit to the main menu and then go back in. There is speculation and rumors, though, that it might not give you great ones if you don't claim them. A lot of people believe that it affects that, so... I don't recommend not claiming them if you're on a great one grind, but if there's like one or two that you don't claim just because they didn't get hit vitally, then that's perfectly fine. I do that all the time. Um, we need to go here. No, they all went back to the middle, Huntress, so I've, I've just decided not to worry about it. I am aware, Corey. Believe me, if, there, if anybody in the community got a great one, I've already heard of it. That type of news travels around fast. Let's see if we got any big males here. Oh, they're not even here yet. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, they are. No, that's a bear. A little bear. <laughs> So I think what we are going to do is we're going to have to bounce to each of these. And then we might do a little bit of hunting back in the middle of the map again. Bear moose, same thing. Oh, yeah, same thing, obviously. White tail again. The white tail are everywhere. He turned. What an evil white tail. What is my least favorite animal? Uh, Lynx, because I've never got a diamond and I got trolled by one and I, I just can't get one for the life of me. Those Lynx, they're just, they just hate me, man. Those Lynx just hate me. I bet you do, Sky. I bet you do. Got my second great one, Red Deer, after 441 kills. Not bad, Jameson. Not bad. That's a nice little quick grind. Gotta love those. What gun am I using? I'm using the 300 Magnum, Ian. No, Corey. Uh, somebody in chat already responded to you. No, it's not the one. Hers is a 50-50. I want the full typical. I've already got a 50-50 like that that has uh, half the typical and half the short rack. It's not the same as uh, both of them being the, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Uh, 
It's not the same as being the full typical rack. Oh, nice, Bison. That's crazy. That, that's pretty wild. That thing's probably going to be a treat to game on. Smoked him. How do you get rid of just does at your zones? Uh, you really can't. You just gotta avoid those zones, really. Once you've made a zone all females, I don't believe the bucks will ever come back, so... Uh, if it's whitetails, at least. Usually if I have a whitetail zone that's gone all females, I just avoid it. I just don't hunt that one anymore. I'm curious, do we have any moose drinking directly on top of my goose setups? That'd be hilarious. If they were all just drinking on the goose setups. Doesn't look like it though. Alright, Alex. How many kills in am I? Uh, let's see. So, it has been, in total, about 4350 kills since our last Great One Moose. We've killed about 100 on... Or close to 100 on Revlon Thule. Probably about 80 or 90 here. And then we've killed 40, 240 on Medved. Scored 157. Holy. Any money making methods? Yeah, hunting lions is amazing. I would say hunting lions is probably one of the best ones. And then uh, hunting red deer as well. Yeah, we're just shooting everything, uh, Huntress. What does going to main menu do? It resets the spook state of animals and also will uh, respawn any animals that you forgot to claim. So it's got a few purposes. Oh, what the? Wh where are you guys going? Where is y'all zone, eh? I don't know where those moose are going. They must be like really close here. Oh, right there, maybe? That could definitely be it. Ma'am, I did not approve this. <laughs> Get out of here, silly moose. Uh, just figure out which ones are uh, consistent, Ghost. That's really all there is to it. Just find out which zones are consistent by hunting them. What I do is I, I just hunt all the zones at the beginning, and then I pay attention to which zones always get their respawns. Like, almost immediately. If they get their respawns instantly, and they continue to do that run after run, then that's a sign of a good zone that you want to hang on to. Nice, Buck Slayer. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, Bison. Both my monitors are curved. I have a, uh, a Gigabyte M32Q, I believe. And, uh, it's a curved monitor. And then my secondary monitor is a, uh, a 200 hertz, uh, Scepter something. It's a Scepter monitor, like an ultra-wide curved monitor. 
Forgot the exact model. Uh, it's 3 p.m. for me right now, Ferris. Do you have to have a mode to get a great one, or is it just shoot the bucks? Uh, yes, yeah, just shoot the bucks. That is, uh, really all there is to it. Some people believe that you get great ones faster when you, uh, use the herd management method, which is just essentially shooting all the big males and not shooting the small ones. But, uh, I've, I've tried both. I've done herd management, and then right now I've been just shooting everything on my whitetail grind, and... It doesn't seem like there's any effect. It's just shooting bucks. Just shoot as many bucks as you can. Usually with whitetail, it takes one to two thousand to get it. Sometimes more, sometimes less. Speaking of whitetail, there's a whitetail over there apparently. Nice, Caitlin. Gotta love it when the day flies by. Gotta love it. Oh, not again, you stupid lynx. Lynx, more like stinks. Got him. Get out of here. Boom. Everything dying. I don't think that hit it, but it was worth the shot. It was worth the shot, man. No, I don't have a diamond links, unfortunately. Welcome back, Ford. You missed a diamond and a troll. There's a male. Oh, it's a one. I mean, I can't shoot that. That's insanely rare. I think we're going to have to name him. I think that's going to be our first pet on Revon Tuli. A little baby level one. Ooh, that's big. That's a, that's a three? Wow. That's a big three. Not going to lie. Big three. Stewart? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I like it. Yeah, we'll name him that. That's Stewart. Stewart the Little Moose. I like it. Yeah, and I, I'm jealous, Johnny. I'm jealous. Another great one. Yep, that is definitely a great one. That is the, the greatest of the ones. Literally, he's a one. He's the greatest of the ones. I think I see someone behind him, too. Hold on. I think there might be a moose behind him as well. Maybe not, actually. Nah, I was just seeing things. Oh, there is a moose there, though. Nice, we got him. Um, I don't know where that two ran off to, but I think we got vitals in him. Or was it a three? It might have been a three. Oh, there's one. Two. We found the moose honey hole. This little corner. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. What's my favorite thing to hunt? Whitetail. Love hunting whitetail. Uh, 
Uh, not anymore, Nova. I kind of have stopped trying to move them to the north because it just was not working out. Um, I ran through the middle twice, shooting as much as I could and deleting as many zones as I could, and I couldn't get them to move to the north. I don't think I had a single herd move, so... They all came back to, like, the exact same areas. So I don't think it's going to be possible to move a bunch of them up there like I wanted. Okay, we kill the second one. Grouse? Somewhere. Somewhere we got grouse. Favorite looking great one? The moose. Definitely the moose. With whitetail being my second favorite just because I love big non-typicals. Where did this thing go? There it is. Uh, yeah, Eddie, I do. More moose. Nice. It's a nice little zone there. This lake honestly has quite a few of them. Ah, too far forward, I think. I don't want to shoot two because it'll delete the zone. I didn't even get vitals on him. Is that a render? I guess the shot was actually farther than I expected it to be. Yeah, it was probably about 350 when I took the shot. Another female. I like this end of this lake. This is really cool. Now, it looks like there's a little kind of like river system that goes through here. I wonder what kind of moose activity is through there. Could be interesting to see. That's the one we shot. He calmed down a bit. I'll bet there is some up that river. Aha, we got him to go alert. Haha, <laughs> we got the hard shot. Let's go. That's amazing. We actually got the hard shot. What caliber do I hunt with IRL? Um, I've gone hunting with a 223 AR as well as a 270. Um, my newest rifle that I just got is probably what I'll hunt with next. I uh I've got a 7mm Remington Magnum that I picked up close to a year ago at this point. That is gonna be pretty uh pretty sweet. How did I get 29 great ones? Uh, tens of thousands of kills, Pancake Man, over the course of years. That's how. We have 29,000 whitetail kills. We have 20,000 red deer kills. We've got uh, about approximately 6,000 moose kills and like 4,000 bear kills. Nice, Mason. Yeah, Pancake Man. A lot of that was done uh, live on stream as well. We need to go back up here. I think I passed him. Did I even pick him up? I don't think I did. You guys are probably paying better attention than I was. Did I claim that? I don't think I did at all. I think I passed him. 
I got a focus reading chat and can't remember if I grabbed him or not. Oh, I'm stupid. That's the, uh, <laughs> that's the hunting pressure from where I first shot him. He's over here. Nice, Huntress. Nice. Hey, Christopher. Yeah, we're grinding, 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 and grinding some more. Hoping to get the big mail. It was a level four again. Nice, nice. That's been my experience too. Like I, I've seen more level four diamond moose than I have fives recently. Pretty wild. All right, let's go to these North Lakes now. I think this is what we're going to have to do for this rev grind. We'll hunt like this middle area for the first like hour, hour and a half. And then we'll go check the, uh, the main zones that we have tented up. Hmm, might even need to go longer than that. I don't see anything there. Well, let's see if anything has come back from that diamond and the uh, level five yet. Look at all those fellers. Gosh, this lake has so many moose. This is actually crazy. There's those white tail as well. About 230 away. So we'll definitely need to shoot these first. There we go. Those ones are booking it though. <laughs> we dropped that big buck. Nice. Hopefully verbs. I believe in you, dude. You got this. Oh, we are peeling out. There we go. I need to put a tent over there still, I just realized. I forgot to do that last run. We went to grab the tent, but we didn't put it up. I like it a lot, Thunder. It's a fun gun. I've been using it a decent bit as like my backup gun on my whitetail grind. Did you get the moose on Medved? No, we didn't refuse. That's why we switched. My moose started depleting their spawns again. Something's wrong with my Medved because uh, respawns literally just stop respawning. And then I lose like 20 to 30 moose and then hundreds of kills later, they'll randomly show up again. So I, I got tired of doing that. Medved was just becoming brutal. There we go. What have I hunted for IRL? I have gone for black tailed deer, Roosevelt elk. That's pretty much it. I went out once for some bird hunting, but never really saw anything. To be honest, I haven't had a lot of, uh, 
I haven't really got anything anytime that I have hunted. That was partially being uh, very limited on time that I could go. And uh, just getting into it during some like bad years for hunting. He's floating. Nothing around here. Well, we'll get him later. Those floaters are brutal. Evil floaters, man. Few males here. And a little white tail again. It yeah, looks like two males. Two little male moose. <laughs> ah, come on. You tell me that wasn't a hit? That should have been a hit. New weapon pack is great for players that don't have Yukon, Tiaboroa, Smoking Barrels, or Modern Rifles pack. Yeah, definitely, Johnny. So, like, if it, if it's if somebody's brand new to the game and they want to buy a DLC, it's definitely, like, a good first option. <laughs> now, that's how we do it. That is how we do things here. Actually, let's check our good zone real quickly. We'll go to these like slower zones later. I want to check this good zone. We got a couple down here that are always really consistent in just having lots of males. Oh, except this time. Except for the time that I say it. Well, let's try a reset. Just push the time forward an hour. We at least have one there. Possibly more? so tiny oh man missed the heart again we're not hitting the heart shots today we are not hitting heart shots very good unfortunate yeah it's essentially all there is to it a uh, pancake man I've spent a lot of time playing this game I think right now I just surpassed 5,100 hours playing I think there's a little bit more to it uh, than that, Aiden, because the 7mm is a really phenomenal rifle as well. Uh, the 7mm bolt action is a great gun. Got a bunch of moose moving in now. Okay. Love to see it. Love to see it. Little fella over there. Gotta reload. Uh, what do you mean, uh, Art with Bruno? Uh, it's pretty simple. You just go to another map and start shooting them.
Well found gaming, that is because you are a loser. Don't cheat, kids. Don't be like uh, found gaming here. There we go. Do you know if there's northern lights in Aurora Shores on Way of the Hunter? I'm not sure. I think there is. I believe there was. If I'm not mistaken, I think that they did advertise that as one of the cool things with the map. Couldn't bring it over. Me to kill an animal in real life. Yeah, everybody's different, Ferris. It's not for everybody. But in many cases, people do it as a way to provide food for their family that isn't going to break the bank because a full deer, that lasts you a long time. That That is food for a whole year. Definitely alleviates like the cost of, of meats because uh, meat gets expensive. And so if you can spend, you know, like, what is it, like 40 or 50 bucks for a deer tag or however much it is nowadays and then get out there and uh, take a deer down, that, that saves you a ton of money in the long run. Where did I smoke this guy? There it is. That's his body over there. Beautiful. Nice, Huntress. I haven't had roe deer before, but I, I'd like to try it someday. I wouldn't necessarily call it weird, uh, Hunter 17. We had a New England Mountains pack last time. I think they just theme it around a map. You shot a cow elk last year, still around 150 pounds of meat from it. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it lasts you a long time. It saves you so much money. Because, like, if you buy, like, a beef or really any type of meat often, you'll know how expensive that can be. Oh, I did not. I was going to 22 trick. I clicked the wrong button. Yeah, it depends on where you live. Uh, call the wild Connor. I think deer tags here are like 45. Let me look. Let me look real quick. Let me see what the prices are like. I know back like 10 years ago, it was like 25. Um, okay. It is... Where is it? Okay, so it's twenty eight fifty now. It's not twenty five anymore. It's not fifty like I or it's not forty like I thought. It's like twenty eight fifty. Non resident is four forty three though. Um, elk tag is fifty dollars. Black bear is sixteen fifty. Um, Rocky Mountain goat is one hundred and forty dollars. And this is just for the general tags. And then there's also like the uh, controlled hunts that are in specific areas. Those tags you got to draw for. There we go. Uh, let's fast travel. Like mountain goat, Mason. Mountain goats. Rocky Mountain Goat. The Mountain Goat. Come here, Capper Cali. Did I get him? No, I didn't. Oh, that was close, though. That would have been insane if I had hit that. Oof, we know we're not hitting that. We know old Crow ain't good enough to hit those shots. We try, but we miss.
All right, guys, I think we're going to call it there. We've been going for about two hours, which is uh, the normal for us when we're doing just like kind of a, a more chill stream like this. Appreciate all of y'all being here. Uh, we might have another one today. I'm not sure. Probably going to upload like a YouTube short as well. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, we'll be back uh, tomorrow or possibly later today. Peace.